Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Today I thought I want to make a video where I pretty much leave my comfort zone. Uh, if you ask yourself what I mean by that. <laughs> Uh, my comfort zone is when I shoot street, use a 28mm lens, maybe a 35 but that's pretty much it. Today I want to use a 50mm lens, so something I usually don't do. And it's a lens that I've never used before, so I just got it and I want to give it a try. And it's very challenging because it's a manual focus lens. It's a very fast 50mm lens. I have it here in my hands and this is the lens I'm talking about. It's uh, 7 Artisans. 50 mil f0 uh, f1.05 so it's basically f1 which is uh, pretty fast almost like in the territory of a noctilux but it's not the noctilux but from what i've seen the image samples i've seen online and from a few shots that i took in, uh, at home sharpness is really good with this lens so man i can't wait to see the results but like i said it's out of my comfort zone so <laughs> let's see what I can come up with shooting a 50 mil lens here at night, because this is where this shines, I think, when you shoot it at night. So without further ado, um, yeah, um, oh, by the way, I mean, you might be able to guess, uh, I'm using this on the camera that is filming me right now. It's the Lumix S5, because this is for L mount. All right, guys, without further ado, uh, Seven Artisan, 50 mil, Bangkok, let's go. All right, guys, this is what, what it looks like, the lens attached to my camera. And I would try to shoot only at F0, F, basically at F1. So let's give it a try. It was super busy that day and I wanted to wait for the background to clear, but that is pretty much impossible on a day like this. Not sure what the guy was doing, but it looked like he was cutting his facial hair. I was glad that the guy stopped, it made it a lot easier to nail the focus. Sometimes you have to wait for the perfect moment to occur, which might not even happen, but in this case, it kind of did. Okay, first impressions uh, shooting the lens. It's tough. <laughs> Not just because of the focal length, also because of the super shallow depth of field. Uh, I missed quite a few shots uh, because also the, the focus throw is fairly short on this lens. Let's wait for the tuk-tuk. It's fairly short on this lens, so 
if you just turn the fox ring a little bit too much, it's out of focus. So not easy, but challenge accepted. So let's continue shooting this beast here. I was waiting for the guy to turn around what he eventually did. Today's video is sponsored by my street photography zines. They include images from all over the world shot on film using my Leica M6 and of course the one and only Hasselblad X-Pen. Get one before they run out. You'll find the link in the video description. Even though it was fun giving the lens a try, I was missing my good old trusty 28mm. I like using 50mm for portraits, but for street, I couldn't see myself using it on a regular basis. Alright guys, so far so good. Um, the look you can get out of this lens is pretty insane. This really reminds me of the Noctilux and that is a good thing. Um, the images look, they have this 3D like, or the subjects, they pop out of the images. It's very, it looks really nice, this medium format style look. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I think for portraits, this is pretty sick. For street photography, I think I stick to 28, that's for sure. But once in a while, this might be cool to shoot this also for street. So. Uh, I think I will probably shoot a couple episodes and then I will give you my verdict about this and um, yeah, I mean, I would say let's get back into the action, let's get some more shots in. I also like to come to quieter areas, sometimes it's good to have a break from the craziness. I wish people wouldn't be so addicted to their phones, but one positive aspect is at night it illuminates people's faces, which can look really nice. If you're wondering about how I edit my photos, 
I use my color profiles for Lightroom. If you want to check them out, the link is below this video in the video description. All right, guys, let me quickly give you the settings that I'm using. Uh, I'm trying to shoot everything wide open. Uh, the focus ring is, is not clicked, so it can happen that I bump it and I will shoot at 1.4 or something, but I will try to keep it at F0, basically. Um, besides that, I'm shooting everything at auto ISO. Um, shutter speed is 1 3 20th. And yeah, very important. Uh, I'm using burst mode, especially when things are moving, because otherwise it will be pretty much impossible to get things in focus. So, I think... Ah, no fucking... <laughs> yeah, mostly. I, I do both. Um, I prefer off camera. Sometimes I get lazy and it's just... A dark alleyway in Bangkok, it's not the place where I would expect to run into a friend. But it happened and it still feels unreal to think about it. The next day I filmed an episode with my friend Max who is also a street photographer and you will see it very soon. Once in a while I had to check if the focus ring was still set to wide open because it has no clicks and is therefore easy to unintentionally bump it out of position. I saw that the guy's face got illuminated by the bus's brake light and it looked really cool so I wanted to capture that, but it's not easy to get the perfect timing. All 
Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked this episode. Uh, I'm glad that I came out here tonight because I bumped into my friend, which was yeah, very weird. Uh, I never expected that, but hey, sometimes <laughs> crazy things happen. So uh, yeah, the lens is fun to shoot. Um, from what I've seen on the screen, it looks nice. Um, I have to wait a little until I see the images on my laptop. But what do you think? Is this a cool lens for street photography? Would you try it? Um, I think it's around $500, so four or $500. It's actually, for what it is, it's pretty good. And um, from what I've seen on the screen, it seems to be really sharp. So I think uh, bang for your buck is pretty good with this lens. All right, guys, uh, I'm super tired now. I have to go back now, get some eat, and then it's time to call it a day. Uh, so yeah, as always, guys, if you like this episode, you know what to do, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to pick up my street photography zine so I can do more crazy videos like this here. And we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.